we as society felt. And so trying to make that change so that they're not that person that we're arresting over and over again. And that person was heading down the road, a wrong path, uh, and now they're heading down the, the right path. My name is Officer Roy White. I am a 18 year veteran here at the Department of Public Safety. I'm currently as a co-lead advisor for our USC DPS cadet program. The goal of our program ultimately is to enhance their life and make them just better rounded citizens. Don't be afraid, but be wary. This is only the tip of the iceberg. Welcome to the rest of your life. We're going to make a change. I promise you that. Didn't I? Sir! Yes, sir! You walk through the doors looking for a change. Well, here it is. My name is Kayla Strada. I am 17 years old. I am a part of the USD DPS cadet program. It kind of changed me a lot, turned my whole life around. When I first started the program, I actually was scared. I was still kind of in my rebel days. I just didn't want to be home. Every time we'll just see an officer, we'll cry. We'll just bust out in tears and cry. Wait, hey, quick it up. What do you call a bear with no teeth? Gummy bear. Your sister gummy bear. That's a bear. He's so he has a bubbly personality. Bubbly. Bubbly. You know why I always choose that word when yeah. I introduce you to oh, everybody? All right, good. Uh -huh. All right, put your hand down. I would actually describe Officer White, outgoing, funny, seem to be a comedian, if that he wants that at a side job. He's able to communicate with others in a good way. My caffeine addiction? Yeah. So it's not a caffeine addiction, all right? I'm addicted to energy. Any given day, we can have 40 to 50 kids here and matching their energy is so hard to do when you have your own family in your house. Anytime you want to give every waking moment with your children, you know, those are creating memories, but they understand what I do and why it's so important. Of course, I know I'm gonna die at like 50, but it's okay, it's a good life. <laughs> I'm sure that every time I drink, you know, a Starbucks venti white chocolate ice mocha with a quad shot, no whip, I, I, I probably lose a couple hairs. I mean, that's why it's like this. It's I grew up with a, a single mother of four, very low income, and it was always my mom budget a lot. We always look for things that were, you know, free to us that we can take advantage of. I was in the streets, under drugs, fighting a lot. I actually had left my house, ran away for about two weeks. You know, growing up in the inner city, it's a lot of the same. You know, you get a lot of the same stories. Something that happened to them reminds you of something that happened to me when I was younger. That's what helped you relate to yeah, them. Yeah, You got that on camera? Rinse that. All right, um, <laughs> just kidding. And it'll never be published. You know, they look after you like they would have, you know. Because, you know, a lot of times they start to see you like, you know, you're like that cool daddy. You know, they tell me if I'm getting too fat. Uh, well, we shouldn't use that word, huh? Fat. And too big bone, hefty, pudgy, you know, then I don't even eat McDonald's anymore. <laughs> so sorry, McDonald's. I saw Super Size Me too, though I didn't eat McDonald's to Super Size, but I'm sorry. We're not doing no copyright stuff right now. I'm getting in trouble here. Anyway. If anything, he always brags me with like a Coke. He buys me a Coke or chips. That's my whole food for the day. I could drink a Coke and eat chips, hot Cheetos every day. Yeah, it's bald head. It's like shiny, glossy, like you could just touch it and then he'll just like move your hand or something. <laughs> I, had a, I had a dream last night that I was a muffler. When I woke up, I was exhausted. <laughs> uh, let's talk about Kayla Estrada, because Kayla is one of my favorite stories to tell. When I first got here, I just thought of Officer White as a normal cop, like, oh, I might be scared of him. She had a black hoodie sweater, pulled over, looked like Raven from Teen Titans. 
I used to be a rebel, so I felt like uh, I'm gonna have to sit around cops. I I can see that something was wrong and bothering her. She she teared up and you know asked her mom to step out. And as soon as her mom stepped out, she just opened up the whole world. He was kind of making jokes. I was like, oh, if I could do this during this meeting, I think I could do it with the rest of the meetings every day. Wanna be gang member, um, some cholo sin barrio. That's what the cadets call them. After that, we you know we started with you know getting her in school, getting her grades up, getting her confidence up. I went from all F to all A. She was at every event. She was always here. She did the most volunteer hours. She did. I felt like he was a cool officer, somebody I could talk to. Believe it or not, 1998 to 2000, I was a, I was a cadet slash explorer here. It's been a fun ride, I, I hope. And then I got picked up and hired and got a chance to go to the academy and work. So it's just another way of me giving back and saying thank you for all that the program did for me. And that I want the same opportunities afforded to these kids who live in the same community. It takes a village to raise these kids, you know. I'm, I'm just, you know, not the brightest crayon on the bus, but I'm just the craziest one in the bunch. But we all exist to make this program work and be successful. This is our, our goal, and I think that's what makes us all jive. Y'all can come help me raise these kids. They, they ain't driving me nuts. Ladies and gentlemen, I want to retire. Hopefully he wins an award here and he comes back and donates all the money to me. And you are you gonna pay for this? No? Oh, well, never mind. Okay. I'll be working forever. Yeah.